Hey Leo, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Hope it's happy, joyful, fun. This is your holiday love reading uh, for uh, Leo. We are looking at Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the characters. I could be talking to a cross watcher. Just take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Um, so let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. All right. Okay. Wow. That was quite a lot of shuffling there. Okay. Looking closer, the magnifying glass. Getting a closer look. Ooh, that's a 44. This is a 22. Going your separate ways here. Wow. I almost feel like this is like people are watching us really closely, so we're going to have separate rooms or separate bedrooms or something. But in reality, we're really together. Okay? In reality, we're really together. People are looking. Uh, people are watching us closely. One of you could be watching the other one closely, and it becomes something more. This is a this is a life partner. This is a twin flame energy. Forty four and twenty two. Taking action on that. Taking action on that. Okay, so as we're looking closely at this situation. I feel like it, it's interesting that you feel like you have to go to two different rooms. There might be something about the relationship that you, you know, decorum dictates that you be separate. Or something like that, Leo. This is really a, tr a true twin flame, though. A true deep soulmate. Yeah, fool. I'm seeing fool and I'm seeing, whoopsie, here. Knight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Ten of Wands. Woo! Somebody is overworked. Two of Wands, Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Death. So I'm feeling like you know this, you are uh, connecting with this person at work. The person, you are very closed off right now. Okay, Leo, very closed off, doing what you need to do, um, very focused on your work, working very hard. You went through a really dark night of the soul here. I feel like you're going to benefit in terms of your um, financial well-being. But how do we get here? This card is how we get here, Seven of Swords. Somebody snuck away from you or somebody... Um, Let's see here. Oh, Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords here. Yeah, someone's a player. Uh, Knight of Wands, Empress, Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. So how did we get here? I feel like you might have been um, cheated on here. And so you're just like blocking out everything. Blocking out everything. I feel like somebody here, this Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Empress, um, Four of Swords, just still healing from that, that, that really did sting. Okay? And I feel like somebody who may have cheated on you went off and married that person. Okay? Um, so this is very um, difficult situation. Knight of Swords here. Trying to make some good decisions for yourself. Chariot moving forward quickly. Wheel of Fortune. Temperance energy. One more, please. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like your uh, your career is really going to take off. Like you've, you've spent a lot of time focusing on your work and not so much on what happened in the past. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, Sag, Aries, Leo here, um, who might have left 
and went and married another person. Okay. I'm not sure that you were married to that person. I feel like, uh, I don't feel like you were. I feel like this was a, just a, like a, a situation where you thought something was going to come together and it didn't. Okay. I'll turn this off. So there were two of you. Yeah. Moon, three of swords, five of wands. So um, this was a situation where you thought this person was perfect for you. Um, they could be a Pisces or Scorpio. They could be a Sag, Aries, Leo. And um, I feel like you um, got your heart broken by this person. It was just sudden. All right. They opted for they opted to go a different direction here away from away from you toward this other person i feel like you might not have known about it until it was too late might not have heard the stories or knew it was happening and i mean you could have just been very focused on your work and and um you know but on purpose you were trying not to pay attention to what was going on here i feel like this was quite hurtful um how this went down this could even be somebody that you know you know like a friend and um a boyfriend took up and now they and then they got married you know something like that and you were like oh well we were dating but you know they kind of were you know kind of um you might have dodged a bullet here i mean i feel like they are happy right now okay i feel like they're happy right now but i also feel like this person was kind of dodgy they could have been dating this person and they tried to date you and you thought this was going to be a good thing but um they ultimately stayed with this person or they went with this person okay so i don't know why they needed they felt the need to include you in any of this because i feel like they had you know it could have been this kind of gamesmanship that they were doing with this other person okay and they were trying to show them that you know there are other people who wanted them just to up their ante or up their um desirability it was, it was games this person was playing games okay so that does hurt. That was a hurtful thing that happened. Um, but the good news is I do feel like you're genuine. You have um, an opportunity for love coming in once the healing has been completed. I also feel like you're um, most definitely moving toward a big payday. Your work, I feel like your patience and your dedication here is going to pay off big time. You made a decision to focus on yourself, made a decision to focus on your own work, to do what was, you know, in your own best interest and just leave this all behind. Um, actively, you know, sort of seeking out the future, looking to the future, moving forward to victory, chariot energy here, Cancerian energy, uh, Sag, Sag energy here. Um, things are coming to fruition. Things are starting to germinate. It's likely that you're getting a lot of accolades or you're going to maybe get a new job or your business is going to take off or something like that. This energy of disappointment really fueled success for you moving forward. And you are likely there is somebody coming in here. Like I said, it could be a Cancerian. Cancer. And then the Sag cards here could be Sagittarius, could be Cancer. Um, I feel like this situation is done. There's no, there's nothing to deal with here. They're going back this direction. Um, that stays in the past for you. Okay. Um, yeah. Five of swords, page of swords, king of swords, Libra energy. Um, if this was a divorce, it was very, um, un unexpected. It could have been very hurtful and you're just now like, I'm not really interested in hanging out with anybody. The cool thing though, is your future is bright in terms of those waterfowl mate for life and this ace of cups coming along. So we'll take a look at that. Um, seven of swords. You may have somebody coming along within December time frame because so much Sagittarian energy here and the fast movement. What needs to happen here is you need to regain your confidence, which is what you're doing. Your work 
the money that's coming in, the abundance that's coming in, the accolades, you know, the real attention to your um, mission, I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of confidence, very confident. The person coming in could be a lawyer, could be somebody who is very accomplished. Um, Libra energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Aquarius, and um, you might meet them online. Page of Swords, okay? Uh, if, they, if they already know you, they, they could be watching you a little bit, watching you gain all this um, acclaim and being very... Um, you know, rewarded for your efforts. I feel like they're very proud of you or they're going to be very proud of how you handled all of this situation. Um, and you really just focused on yourself. You didn't really get into the gamesmanship of this other stuff. This person, I feel like you might have dodged a bolt. These people deserve each other. <laughs> they deserve each other. There, there's a lot of drama here. I feel like there's, there's a, um, a fair amount of uh, fighting with them. I feel like that's the way they want it, Ten of Cups. They want this like, woo, super high, super low, super high, super low. They want this, see the rate, the waves, you know, they're like, oh, making you seasick dealing with this person. So um, I, I feel like what's ahead for you is a lot more solid. If you were thinking that this was a good thing, um, take a closer look at the fact that these people are are so drama okay so much drama so much craziness um you have something much better ahead for you okay so i know you went through a rough time with this other person but happy days are ahead all right so we'll take a closer look at what's going on how we are moving forward um and blocks to love actions to take we'll figure out um you know we'll get a little more information on how this is going to play out okay okay all right, Leo, link is below for the extended. I invite you to do that. Otherwise, have a wonderful holiday.